Okei, seuraavaksi tota, kuvataiteilija Sasha Huber on tämän ihme koulun puitteissa tehnyt yhteistyötä Helsingin nuorisoasian keskuksen kanssa. Artist Sasha Huber, welcome. You had a cooperation project with Helsinki Youth Center. Welcome. Kiitos paljon. Kiitos. Hyvä päivä kaikki. Um, thanks again for the invitation to propose a workshop for the youth. It was my first experience to work with the youth, so I was very excited and I had no limits. Like when I asked, so is there some sort of a framework? They said, no, you just propose. So I took the liberty and, and came up with uh, an idea that I could at least now tell you, even it wasn't realized before talking about the actual workshop. So the idea was in concerning the topic of the um, Ime Paiva, this about identity. I thought, okay, what I find personally is always the best is when people get to know each other. And as soon as they have a face-to-face -face situation, they immediately become like familiar to each other. And it kind of, you know, breaks the feeling of, oh, I don't know this person and who is this person and so on. So I had the idea of bringing together all the Uh, youth centers, like literally everybody would be invited to a huge space where there would be different activities and one was that there would be two circles, um, people facing each other and the inner circle would stand still and the outer circle would rotate every three minutes. So everybody would have a face-to-face -face moment, just two of them. And in that moment, people would speak to each other, introduce to each other who they are. And then one idea was also that everybody gets an empty sketchbook where while standing opposite of each other, drawing each other's faces, but not looking down. So nobody would look at the paper. So just while talking, they would draw each other's faces and then there would be this moment of laughter when they look at the, their portrait, which is probably very silly looking. And so there would be this kind of, um, that's at least how I would uh, imagine it, this kind of uh, exciting situation where people laugh and, and just have a good time, basically. And the result would be that uh, all Helsinki youth would know each other. <laughs> but So that was unfortunately not possible. Uh, but anyhow, uh, Ulla was then saying that there is this uh, place in uh, um, the youth center in Kanelmaki where, I would where they would like me to work for nine evenings with the help of Fiona, who's over there, and Nisse, who were assisting me. And And then there came the um, opportunity to actually create an artwork where uh, the participants, which were really very um, free to participate, so there was no need of signing up. So it was kind of this feeling of, oh, is anybody caring to participate at all? You know, when, when one sets up that uh, workshop and then uh, people were allowed to come in and out as they felt like. And um, what I mentioned earlier is uh, that the uh, opportunity came up to create the work that is then permanently installed in Bohios Haga train station, which is really nice because it's nothing that is just done and then forgotten, but it's something that really we can make a mark and you know do something which which will stay. And maybe some of you know I, one of when, one way of how I work is with uh, using the staple gun as a reaction. Really, that's how I really felt that would be also a good name for the workshop, of reacting to certain themes that are co I'm concerned about. And I thought, hey, this might be a, in collaboration also with a discussion with Paula. We thought, hey, maybe that could be fun for the you to shoot with the staple gun, this kind of action thing going. So I just kind of thought, hey, they could try it out and not really project so much my own how I use it, because I only use that way of working when it really relates to some topic that is, in, uh, is uh, has something to do with the, the symbolic value of that being of a weapon, really, of literally, symbolically shooting back. So that's how I started to work like that. <clears throat> so I was curious of how, if they react uh, in a way of how they want to. And so we had these three boards, one times 150. Maybe we can now start the video, Eric. 
um, this video, I'm really happy to show this. Uh, conventional making of pictures, if you want to see that, this is on the, uh, at the Ich Me Bayer Facebook page. There are plenty of images that I uh, put together. Um, but Nisse, who was, who was assisting me when we met, he was saying that he also does film. And I asked him, hey, would you like to document this project? And then he said, yeah, at the end, um, he would like to make a short documenti uh, documentation of the outcome. So you don't really see the making of, as, as you've seen in the other proposals. But I really like this uh, way of looking at the details and so on. After the first uh, evening, um, we had the chance to introduce the project to people. And uh, one of the other parts that were part of it is to use an embroidery machine. I always was curious about using the embroidery. Embroidery is like stitching, like uh, stapling as well, but it's more subtle, more fine. So we were able to kind of combine it and people nowadays like to photograph each other and be having Facebook and so on. So I had the idea that I could propose people to take each other's pictures. And then I drew all persons faces, like there were about 40 people. And, and those drawings were then used for the embroidery that you see. So people are with their own face on the artwork, as you see. And the text that is written is, we are here. So the place of that artwork will be the Bohershaga train station, which is kind of, you know, on a map when you're somewhere, it says, you are here. And they say, we are here together. And um, I felt that uh, interesting phrase to kind of mark, mark what is this about. And they brought themselves in with their identity more, like through their appearance on the work. It was, there was not this really situation of, um, talking about identity and all that. It was not really, there wasn't really this situation because every day was another people and then they came in sometimes one minute, two minutes, shot for one minute and then they left and then somebody uh, came in and just wanted to participate with the photography. So it was really, people were totally free. So I was kind of like, curious because we didn't know what comes out of it. <laughs> there could have been just nothing at all. But um, I'm really uh, was saying that it was great to be there nine, nine days in a row, like over, over the course of three weeks. And what is interesting, some of the people didn't want to be photographed. But on the second last day, they, uh, one of the boys came and asked, hey, could he participate still? And they said, yeah, sure, now. And so it really takes time and that's something that is also that you have to kind of trust, get the trust of people and it's good to be always there and not just jumping from one place to the others to have kind of slow uh, building up of a relationship. So uh, it was really, I was really glad to, to be there and, and um, hope, um, wish them all the best <laughs> as well. So nobody came here, but next uh, week on the 10th, uh, we will inaugurate the work, also they will then come there and uh, it's when you drive with the train to Bohjoserga, it's on the, aside from when you come from Helsinki, uh, above the stairs, so it will be there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sasa. Joo, kiitos, Sasha.